Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And the continuation of our revision uh, aspect of uh, e-learning program. And the next topic, as we have already discussed about the format of the manufacturing feeding profit and loss account, and this is the first illustration on it, and uh, one of the first questions. I will have the, the question, you have you have to prepare the manufacturing trading profit and loss account and you have a traveling expenses 55,580 5, says you have a 598,849 and you have a stock on first January 2004 you have a column raw material 6,000 manufacturer good that is your finished good uh, 19,480 discount allowed you have a 7,480 depreciation of plant and machine 26,000 internet browsing you have 1,860 and you have a purchases column raw materials 174,529 manufacturing goods or your finished goods 25,480 naira. Carriage inward on raw material. Carriage inward, you have a column. Raw materials, 6,820. Manufactured goods or your finished goods, 1,000 naira. Office rent and rate, 13,000 naira. Repairs to machinery, 5,000 naira. Plant and machinery, 150,000. By 420 naira, and you have the factory electricity 7580. Office salary, you have 18,800 naira. Carriage inward, carriage outward 4660. GSM call 6340. And you have the factory rent and rate 45,420. Factory insurance 4,000 naira. Manufacturing wages 220,580. And because of the nature of the program, and we don't have enough space on the board to write the full question, that's why we join the remaining aspect of additional information. Under additional information, you have the closest stock of a uh, raw material, which stand as RM, is 4,000 naira. Manufactured goods 55,880 naira. Market realized book value that is, you have it under additional information that the goods manufacturer had to be transferred to the sales department at the net realized book value of 543,000 naira. You are required to prepare the manufacturing trading profit and loss account. And now you're supposed to be with your own bio and paper and let's do it together. And you rule the table, that is, you rule the account for the manufacturing trading profit and loss account. On the, on the expenses side, that is where on the, the expenses side, where you have a purchases, opening stock and others, you have a two column. That is, you roll like this. You have the first column, and you have the two columns. The first column is for adjustment, and the second column is for the full amount. And the other side, where you have a sales, and you, you can have only single column because of the maybe space on your paper, or you may have a single column. Single column is okay. And here you have the where you have the double column. The first thing you have to consider on the manufacturing, you have an opening stock of raw materials. Opening stock of raw materials that is there the first day of the month or first day of the year, you have a first January. Opening stock of raw materials, you have 6,000 naira, and which will be must transfer to the last column of your naira. And you have the add purchases. Remember, you have an opening stock plus purchases, add purchases, purchases on raw materials. Remember you have a two purchases this time around. You have the purchases of raw materials, purchases of manufactured goods. You have the purchases of raw materials, 
But in case if the purchases has maybe a minor minor adjustment, you're supposed to first of all write on the first column where you have a 174,520 on the first column of Naira and you and go through the question again, you have a carried inward, you have color on raw materials, 6,820, you had it to the purchases and before you transfer to where you have your 6,000, that is six, uh, the last column, check, go through the question again, if you have a return outward on raw materials, if there is no return in outward on raw materials, therefore you transfer your net book balance to the last column where you have a 6,000 naira and you close it. 6,000 plus the net book value of the purchases and you give you the figure. And after that one, and you not go through the question, the next thing you have to do is to less closing stock of raw materials and you have your closing stock on that additional information. Remember we have the two types of uh, stock. The first one will be the opening stock and the last one will be the closing stock. The closing stock will be the end of the month or end of the year date which we have uh, two closing stock this time around, raw materials and manufactured goods. You use the raw materials for the manufacturing aspect. That's why you have the uh, 4,000 Naira. You left 4,000 Naira from the net, that is the addition of the opening stock and for pieces, you left the 4,000 Naira. That's the closing stock of raw materials. And your closing stock of raw materials, after you mine all that one, you have the figure or the balance where we call it a cost of raw material consumed. Cost of raw material consumed and the next thing, after you arrive at the cost of raw material consumed, the next thing you have to look for direct materials. What are the direct materials? You have the manufacturing wages. The manufacturing wages given is 220,580. 220,580. Any other item again, like a royalty. Royalty is not given, but you are giving only manufacturing wages. You had manufacturing wages to the cost of raw material consumed and when you have it and you arrive at the prime cost that is opening stock plus purchases after adjustment less closing stock you arrive at the cost of raw material consumed had manufacturing wages or if you are uh, if you are giving ordinary wages you have had your ordinary wages to that aspect if you are giving other direct material like royalties, you add it to this uh, aspect and you arrive at the prime cost. After the prime cost, your prime cost, you need to write your prime cost in capital letter. That is to indicate that is very, very important. And when you arrive at the prime cost, you don't need to close the account. You leave it open and the next of adding is factory overhead. And as we are still, uh, still on the manufacturing trading profit and those accounts, nothing is transferred to this uh, income side. And you continue with this uh, expenses side. And you have a factory overhead. And uh, under the factory overhead, to make the, that is to utilize that in case if, we, if the time is against you, you first of all look out for all the factory factory items. Like what? We have a factory electric electricity, you transfer it to this uh, under factory overhead. And you look for factory rent and rate, you transfer it immediately. You have a factory insurance, you transfer it immediately. And the next thing you have to do for repairs to man machinery, you transfer it to under factory overhead. And the next one that is very, very important is depreciation on plant and machinery, you transfer it to this uh, aspect. And after you had them together, and your total to be transferred to the net bear, the last column amount, and when you had the, the prime cost with factory overhead, and we arrive at the cost of cost of manufactured goods or cost of production. Cost of production. When you arrive at the factory cost of production. Your factory cost of production, you consider one thing. If you are giving work in progress, therefore, the two types of work in progress will be given to you. Work in progress at start and work in progress at close. 
if you are giving work in progress at start, you first of all add it to the where factory cost of production. When you add the two together, you now less the work in progress at close. And uh, secondly, e, after I write that, uh, if work in progress is not given at all, like this question you are giving the market realizable value, you take your factory cost of production minus the market realizable value or you go to the income side and you write the market realizable value what is the figure we have a 543,000 and minus your factory cost of production in a situation whereby your market realizable value is greater than factory cost of production and find the difference, the difference we call it a manufacturing profit the difference is called manufacturing profit and your manufacturing profit you have your manufacturing profit you add it together with the factory cost of production and you have the balance that is the both side you have a 543,000 and here you have a 543,000 balance balance and after that point that's the head of the manufacturing account you move down to the trading account and after that one and then you move down the trading account the income side you have a sales on the on the credit side of the account you have a sales that's a 598 598 naira and you have that in a, check the question if you are giving return inward no return inward therefore you come to the debit side that is the expensive side and you have the opening stock of finished goods the opening stock of finished goods is given where you have a stock on 1st January you have you already use a raw materials the main manufactured goods that's 19,480 and you first of all write that one on the last column we remember you are using the double column on the expensive side you write it on this side hard purchases the purchases of manufactured goods the purchases of manufactured goods or finished goods you had the, the figure 25,480 and uh, check the uh, expenses where you have a carriage inward just the carriage inward on manufactured goods it just is it is it uh as is trap because it's possible for you to overlook of this uh, 1000 euro and immediately you transfer purchases of manufactured goods you had 1000 euro that is hard carriage inward when you had the carriage inward to purchases of manufactured goods and what be your balance you had it to your the last column of the opening stock you had the two together and you arrive at the cost of goods available for sales when you arrive at the cost of goods available for sale you less closing stock when you less before you less the closing stock you have the purchases and the opening stock together if your factory cost of production if you are not giving the market realizable value Factory cost of production should be added back to this uh, aspect that is served as your purchases. But in a situation where you are giving market realizable value, the market realizable value figure should be added to this uh, side. That is, you write market realizable value again 543,000. You had the two together before you arrive at the cost of goods available for sale. And that is you have a 119,480 as opening stock you had purchases it does a 25,480 had the carriage inward 1000 and we give us a 400 and, and we give us and you have the the figure on the market realizable value 543,000 you had the two together and you arrive at the cost of goods available for sale less closing stock and you less closing stock 55,880 and you arrive at the cost of raw material uh, cost of goods sold and when you arrive at the cost of goods sold 
you minus it from this excess figure and you arrive at the gross profit of 65,760. And uh, middle you arrive at this, uh, you close the two sides of the account. That is, you have a sales, here you have a sales, you have the sales figure. That's a 598,840. And you balance, and here you have the 598,840. And you have the balance balance. And immediately after the balance, you draw down your gross profit. Your first gross profit is your manufacturing profit. Your manufacturing profit, under the manufacturing account, your manufacturing profit is 51,000, 51,089, followed by gross profit of the trading account. That's 65,000, 65,760 60. and you have the two together and you now come back to the expenses and you look at the expenses the first thing you start from the beginning again the discount allow figure you transfer it to expenses side you have the internet browsing you transfer to the expenses side and you have the office rent and rate you remember you already used the factory rent and lift for the manufacturing the only thing that concerns the profit and loss is office rent and lift and you have the office salary you transfer gsm call you transfer and you transfer the carriage outward and followed by the traveling expenses and after that one there is no other depreciation given to you like uh, depreciation of furniture and fitting depreciation on the uh, Motor vehicle is not given, and after that, and you close your account, you find the difference between the both sides, and you arrive at the net profit. And the question in the that is the continuation of the question. The other one just to test whether your account is balanced or is not balanced, whether your net profit is correct or not. You can try to use the remaining information to prepare the balance sheet. To prepare the balance sheet, we don't have enough information to check the accuracy of the assignment. And if you have enough information, that is, though the person does not require the preparation of the balance sheet, if you not, maybe when you are less busy, you can use bed. For the sake of the exam, you limit yourself on the instruction of the question so that you don't waste your time on unnecessary things. Do whatever the question asks you to do. The question asks you to do manufacturing, trading, profit, and loss account. So, if you have a, maybe before we resume, you can try as many questions on manufacturing, trading, profit, and loss account. And if you have any complaint, you just uh, jot it down. Whenever we resume fully before you have the exam, the final exam, we can have a brief discussion on it. I wish you best of luck. So I know a big card of my Sadamia Sabun.